Hi folks, I'm Jang from rcmania.com and Ultimate RC. I've been in deeply into the hobby for about 11 years now, and during that time I have owned and operated nearly 300 different RCs, both toy grade and hobby grade. Now, when I first started rcmania.com, it was because there was no other site out there that was really giving reviews, proper reviews, proper tests, and giving proper amount of respect to toy grade RCs. You know, the type of RCs that you can buy at Toys R Us or Target or Walmart or Argos or other places where most people do their shopping for items. The types of uh, RCs that most people would buy and give as a gift for a child during Christmas. There are plenty of sites that have been out there to review the one and two thousand dollar hobby grade RCs like this, but nothing that was really taking care of the toy grade market. So I started it up and really decided to focus on reviewing the toy grade RCs for what they are and for whom they were created. For kids, it's all about kids, whereas the hobby grade ones were more for uh, teens and adults. And recently I've been getting a lot of comments that really have me bothered. People responding to my negative reviews of products, saying that I'm being unfair. How dare I give a negative review to a product that someone out there has had a good experience with. Well, here's the thing. I am absolutely dedicated to giving what I feel is the most accurate representation of the quality of these products. A lot of consumers out there make their purchase decisions based on what I say on rcmania.com. There's a lot writing on that, so I try to do my very best to just be accurate and tell it like it is. I don't pull any punches, whether a manufacturer gives me a product, which is relatively rare, or I go to the store and buy it myself with my own money, which is what happens most of the time. Doesn't matter, I'm not paid to do these reviews. I do them myself and I do them for you. And I do them for the kids that are gonna be ultimately receiving these and playing with them. Now, if I pick up an RC vehicle, from, let's say something from Toys R Us, and let's just say for sake of just throwing something out there, let's say it's a big, red, hot muscle car, and it looks fast and it costs 60 bucks, and you know some kid is gonna get this under the Christmas tree or they're gonna get it for their birthday or something and that vehicle has absolutely no excitement to it it's way too slow for the age range for which it's created I'm going to give it a bad review period paragraph RC manufacturers particularly toy grade manufacturers have in general done a terrible job especially in the past decade or so of giving good products and, and exciting products uh, to consumers. There are way too many slow, underpowered vehicles and aircraft that barely fly or don't fly at all. And I'm, for one, am tired of it. I think that consumers are tired of it also. No, scratch that. I know that consumers are tired, tired of it because I've read their, <laughs> their feedback directly talked to countless buyers who are just completely fed up with poor quality RCs, especially toy grade RCs on the market. And this has caused the whole field of toy grade RCs to drop and drop and drop over the years. And toy grade RCs are not considered as cool as they were back in the 80s and the early 90s when there were actually high quality vehicles and and uh, not so much aircraft but mostly land vehicles at that time and also boats being created. If I test something now and it is not of good quality, let's say I receive a, an airplane, I take an airplane out of the box, everything looks good, I follow the instructions to the letter, I try to fly it and it doesn't fly, I try to modify it a little bit based on my own knowledge which is a little bit of a cheat and still it does not fly I'm going to give that a poor review, period. Especially if I go out onto the forums and onto the internet, as I always do with these reviews, and I look at other people's reviews, actual consumers' reviews, not paid advertisements, 
not reviews from the manufacturers themselves, but reviews from actual buyers who have tried that same product and had the exact same problem as I did. If I see a lot of that in particular, I am not going to give that product a good review, even if there are some of that exact same product that make it out onto the market and work perfectly fine. If there is a high defect rate, I am not going to recommend that product to any consumer. I would be completely out of my mind and irresponsible to recommend that anyone buy a product that I know has a high defect rate and has thus a very high chance of making a child very, very sad and very, very, disappointment, very, very disappointed and wasting the money of an adult or a couple of adults who might not have that money to just throw away. So when I put out a review and I say that something is unacceptable in quality, unacceptable in performance, uh, it's because I've put my best effort into getting good performance out of it and I feel that it is either unacceptable for the age range for which it was created. Every single Toy Grade RC has a recommended age on there. If I get a product and it says it's for ages 10 and up and I honestly believe based on my experience with children that only a four or five year old would actually enjoy it, I'm not going to give it a good review. I'm going to mark it down, especially if the cost is disproportionate to what the consumer is getting. I am on the side of the consumer and I will not bow to any pressure from any commenter, any reviewer, anywhere else, anyone on YouTube, anyone giving feedback uh, to my site, nor to pressure from any manufacturers who want me to make uh, better reviews to give better grades to vehicles, aircraft, and boats that I feel are just do not deserve it and really should not be purchased because they're just not worth their time and they're not worth the money. So that's what I have to say on that subject. As you can see, uh, I do get a little bit worked up about it. I, uh, I, I put a lot of, of my heart into what I do and I try to be honest and I try to do what's best for buyers, for consumers, and for the kids who just want to have fun with RCs. Every kid who gets a toy deserves to enjoy it deserves to be able to take it out of the box and have fun with it for quite a long time. That's my feelings on it. I'm Jang from RCmania.com. Thanks.